everyone, I'm Ray Anderson, and I'm going to share some answers to some questions I have here for you. My name's already quite short, so it's hard to make it even shorter for a nickname. So I usually get extensions of my nickname, of my name. I usually get things like Ray Ray, and as a child I got Ray of Sunshine, which is definitely not a nickname. So I'm 23. I compete in athletics. Uh, so I do discus and shot put. I also did javelin, but they have taken it out um, of the Paralympic Games for Tokyo, so I've had to change to shot put. I have competed for Australia at the Paralympic Games in Rio, where I competed in javelin and discus. I've also competed at the Commonwealth Games in Glasgow, as well as two World Championships, Doha 2015 and London in 2017. I started competing in athletics when I was 13 after we went on a school excursion to the AIS where I met another Paralympian and realised that it was something that I could pursue as a sporting career. Um, at the time I didn't know that parasport existed. Ten years later I'm still competing for Australia and competing in parasport which has been an amazing experience. Well, being an athlete I feel like this isn't the right answer. but. 100% has to be chocolate. Um, my go-to's are definitely peppermint or caramel, probably more so peppermint. It's a bit random, not many people like it, but I absolutely love chocolate. Um, I think my go-to Netflix binge at the moment would definitely have to be Out of Banks. Such a good show, highly recommend it. Walking into the opening ceremony for the Commonwealth Games was Incredible, it was my first international experience. And then walking out to the stadium with everyone screaming your name and seeing Australian flags fly around everywhere. It's an amazing experience. I think being a para-athlete, being a Paralympian, you always have that goal of making it to the Paralympics and ultimately winning a Paralympic medal and preferably a gold medal. I think for me, it's not only chasing that gold medal, it's also enjoying the experience and meeting the people along the way and just enjoying the journey to the medal. I think for me, um, growing up with a disability, I'm pretty lucky it was considered an invisible disability. You can't necessarily see that I have cerebral palsy. You have to be strong with your self-identity and figure out how you want to see yourself and how you want the world to see you with your disability and, and know that you're not alone. Um, I think that's the biggest thing growing up, you think that you're the only one with this disability. Um, but there's such a community out there, so definitely find that thing in life that makes you proud of who you are and proud of your disability and be able to excel in what you, <laughs> in what you can achieve.